Someone is connected to their spiritual spouse. Someone is entertaining a spiritual spouse. Someone is allowing their spiritual spouse um, basically to destroy their life. Okay, and I'm going. I even have clips from a video just to help you because sometimes um, I do have a a, a high man following, and uh, sometimes it's easier for a man to hear it from another man than it is from a woman. Okay, and I'm going to break down what a spiritual spouse is. Okay. Now, a spiritual spouse is a spiritual demon that marries you in the mar like put a ring on your finger in the spirit, okay? And you um the spirit does not have a face, which is wow, this is wow. But the spirit does not have a face. And what happens is that even us humans can hold this spirit because a spirit spouse is also connected to the succubus and the incubus spirit so what happens is humans can hold this or they can conjure up this spirit now i also um took some clips for a video so you can see what opens up the door to um end up having one of this now people that have a high calling end up getting this spirit because it's supposed to stop you it's supposed to stop you from your calling stop you from moving forward stop you from being the person the lord has called you to be so um what else i was gonna say oh this also can cause you problems yeah in your little mid area women it's gonna be harder for women to conceive if you have a spiritual spouse it can lower or uh, give you a high sex drive also for men you're going to have erection like an erectional problem like getting it up um you can have a high or a low sex drive uh it's what this spirit also can do is um like this spirit, it, it makes you sometimes make you want to have sex with multiple individuals. You will never be satisfied. That's why you will hop from person to person to person. And even though you long to be in a relationship, the spirit is so jealous that it will stop you. It will try to stop you from being in a relationship. It will try to stop you from marrying anybody. It will make you feel like uh, it's not going to work out, this and this and that, whatever the case may be. But yeah, this is part of having a spiritual spouse. Um, also what else oh okay let's go back okay so women and men can hold this spirit so because a human can hold this spirit you can mistake this as your uh kingdom husband or your kingdom wife and you and uh, a a spirit spouse can also have telepathic communication with you they can also visit you in your dreams and have sex a spirit spouse Spirit spouse also shape shifts. So it could be you having diff having sex with different people in your sleep, okay? And the sex will feel real. You will be ejaculating or you will be coming. Either or for men or women, okay? This is for both sex, okay? Um, but someone has a spiritual spouse. And this is why it's important to practice semen retention, okay? Um women celibacy uh, celibacy i mean the lord has been on me like do not give it up do not give it up so i'm like okay lord i'm not giving my cookie up to nobody also uh the spirit spouse can be connected to a, a, a marine a marine spirit they are called marine spirit spouse and um they hold this succubus or incubus spirit and again like i said these are very dangerous because us humans or human a person that is a human can hold this spirit and you would think that this is your kingdom spouse you would think that this is the person that is made for you but what is happening is that you're going to start lacking in that area this is how you know that person is not for you because the more you're with that person you're not going to be like the more i was with a, a person that was a spirit spouse to me i could not have like even though we tried so many times, I was not able to conceive a child. For Ben, if you're dealing with your spirit spouse, you will have problems in your, your mid area. You will not be able to, you'll have uh, erection problems. You're, you'll be wanting to have sex with multiple women. It will never be right for you. Okay, you will have a lot of problems. The more you deal with this spirit, it can lead you into places that you don't want. Because what happens is this spirit doesn't care about destroying your life. And people need to realize STIs and STDs are real. They are so real. And this demonic spirit will just keep having you go everywhere and everywhere until it finally mess you up in a place to where you're like, dang, I wish I could have, should have, would have. You know what I'm saying? So it's always to be mindful to be wanting to be delivered from this area and understand what is happening to you, okay? 
But here go some clips and some videos for you, okay? Girl, gonna put you on. Or non-consenting, believe it or not, I've met people, I've prayed for people that gave consent to a spiritual spouse for the means of sexual gratification or other reasons and allowed it to be there. Others have not given consent, but they've opened doors and that's how they got in the spiritual spouse. And, and this spirit will oftentimes cause division between people, build bridges between people, try to stop you from building relationships. And these spirits are incredibly jealous. These spirits are responsible for causing friction and division in people's families and relationships. And these spirits violate God's spouses. Now, it could be anything. If you guys know my deliverance teaching, I teach when a door opens, you don't get to choose what spirit comes through the door. If you open the front door, you don't know if flies are going to come in, wasps are going to come in. When you open a door, any type of spirit can come through that open door. But some of the common doors I've seen spiritual spouses, sexual demons come through are fornication, watching pornography, masturbation, engaging in spiritism or channeling spirits, doing rituals or invoking demons, and adultery. These are all common doors for spiritual spouse delivered. This also can work in the opposite. If you have a spiritual spouse, you can have an unnatural sex drive where you're never satisfied. No matter how much sex you have, what you do, you're never satisfied. And this could drive people to watch pornography, engage in adultery, or do other damaging things because they're never satisfied because it's a demon that's actually giving them this sex drive. So these are all signs of a spiritual spouse. Listen, if you have a spiritual spouse and you're watching, don't know that's also a sign another sign is having no desire to be in a relationship and this could be caused by spiritual spouse not wanting you to fall in love with other people they're incredibly jealous i could tell you what i've dealt with dealing with spiritual spouses casting them out so that was just a couple of videos um that i just took from a clip it's a whole bunch of videos on spiritual spouses but you know this is why we suffer a lot here on earth or uh, us as humans because we lack the Lord says a lot of us perish because of the lack of knowledge. So understand what you are dealing with spiritually so you can overcome it and you can be successful and prosper like prosper here in, in, in your human form. Because a lot of y'all are suffering spiritually because of the lack of knowledge. So, I mean, it's a lot of videos on spiritual spouses. Now, um, please, uh, you can go check him out. I just picked a video and took some clips from it, but it is a thousand videos and nine, nine out of 10, a lot of them are saying the same things because it is true. And this does happen to individuals. You, you have to acknowledge that this is really happening to you in order, like, you know, that's part of deliverance. Like this is happening and I need to fix it. Have a blessed